and welcome back. This is Bala Scuba with more Let's Play Orcs Must Die. Unfortunately, as you can see here, I have done a little bit of work. Uh, that's That wasn't on purpose. I, I did mean to record that. I tried to record that. Unfortunately, it did not go through. So I do know what's coming up. Uh, I did actually have a special guest with me, uh, but I'm, I'm not going to make him uh, redo this with me. So... He will be in the next session, but for now, it will just be me once again. Uh, so we're going to go through these one by one, uh, starting with lunch break. Hopefully, we'll get to the balcony. I don't know if we will make it all the way there, though. So let's go ahead and get started. We last left off. I was killing orcs. In this part, for a change of pace, I will be killing orcs. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, the first one that we got here is. I once asked the old man what would happen if the orcs made it through the rifts into our world. He got all gloomy faced and said, "Step out into their shattered, dead world beyond the fortress gates, and you will know." Oh yeah, could have just said it. It'd be bad. <laughs> okay, so it'll be bad. Okay, so this looks pretty basic of what I have to do here. I obviously have to cut off this side over here. And so I think I can do that with just a couple barricades. I uh, believe we have seen all of these enemies before. So I do need barricades. Unfortunately, they are cheaper for me now. I did get that upgrade. I'll try not to use any of the things that I have uh, upgraded but for this one, I don't have a choice. I, I do need the barricades. They are cheaper. They're normally 800. Now they're uh, 700. And I did just get these wall blades. So, spoiler alert, here's what you get later on. Um, but I, I, I'll try my best not to, not to use any of those. Um, I guess we could do a bomb, boom barrel and wall blades because that's what we just got. Well, outside of that, everything, yeah, everything looks good. So, we need to barricade this side here. I believe just those two will do it. For some reason, they can't figure out to how to go through here. So, I won't complain. And then, we can put a couple poison traps up front. Poison will always work out well in the long run. And then we can go down here, put a co couple poison traps in front of that. Is that it? Yeah. Voila. And that's pretty much all I got for now. So pretty much the rest is kiting until I can get archers probably around here somewhere. Probably like around the corner like that. Just full of archers, hopefully. Uh, that'll, that'll be probably my best strategy. Where are you guys coming from? Top? Top. Shouldn't be too big of a problem, though. No. Yes, they are on the bridge. Thank you for pointing that out to me. I will not be blowing these guys off uh, because it, it just puts them down there and then it makes it harder for me to guide them. I will be blowing them straight back if, if I need to, though. I don't think I need to, though. There we go. I, I assume the next one's going to be at the bottom somewhere. But just in case... Are we going? Wait, are we going down there? Nope, straight up here. So another set of those, and running away because <laughs> I don't want to deal with their arrows. If I do slow down my clicking, I I can get a little bit more accurate, but I don't know how much I actually want to do that. You know, more often than not, I'm just spamming here. Stay back. And then we can do it just fine. Yeah, there we go. No problems. No problems whatsoever. As you did see, though, uh, I do eventually have problems with the game. So that just happened. It does eventually uh, start start wearing on me, and I start getting uh, four skulls instead of th five. But hopefully I can do better this time. Down below. Yeah, down below. I know. All right, one, two, three. They should all be coming up this side. I can, of course, kite them from down here. And, of course, they don't come up from the top this 
this wave. They will later on, of course, come from both sides. But for now, it's just the, just the one side at a time. That will, of course, change. Of course, it changes. Everything needs to die. Be that difficult, especially now that I'm on the stairs. For some reason, this makes things a lot easier. You would think that I'd be getting more headshots, though. Of more angle of the head to hit, but it still doesn't work out that way. Alright, now I get time to think about this one. I'm going for more archers. I don't know if I actually have to rotate them, but I do. Rotate them. And that should be good for now. Archers pretty much kick ass. There's no other way to put it. Okay, so... We're coming from both sides again. I will need to set up arrow walls eventually. Pretty much the idea here is to barricade one side, which I have done. And that should make things a little bit easier going forward. And now I should probably check in over here. How you doing? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Ah, I got hit. Damn it. And this is pretty much where they start punching up, and this is where I should start putting all the rest of my traps. And blow it back from time to time, and we should still be good. I don't think the wind belt actually does damage to them, otherwise I'd probably be using it a lot more. Damn it. Back off. It does stun them, though. Which is always nice. Die! There's still more? Still a guy down here. There we go. Okay, let's start setting this place up. Uh, I will require... At least one there. And then one there. Just the top this time! Okay, I can deal with just the top. Just one. Makes it a little bit easier on me. Yeah, this one, once again, is all about bottlenecking them. So that I can do... A lot of damage, get a lot of points actually, even though, to be honest, I don't really care about points as much as I do skulls. If I can get perfect on skulls, then I will be happy. Which I already did, so I'm already happy. Stun him, so that I can shoot him again. God, these guys have a lot of health. I don't remember crossbowmen being quite this difficult, like, in history. They have the crossbow orcs, I should say, not crossbow men. Just kill them as they go around the corner. I don't want to blow them this direction because it probably will send them over the barricade, which, even though it's only knee high, they cannot handle for whatever reason. There we go. Okay. Let's go for more of that. And I probably need to start putting the tar down. That's good. Both sides again. I like starting up top. For whatever reason. I think because I think I can make up more on the stairs than I can over here. That shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. Keep on going. Take them all out. We got this. Fuck. They're heading up the stairs now. Where are you? There we go. And then we can start following my thing again. Let's try to get as many of them dead as I can. Oh! I hit a chandelier. I, I didn't mean to, but I did. I don't know if I killed anybody with it, though. You can knock down the chandeliers, of course. And it will get you some kills, but yeah, you don't want to waste it when nobody's there. I do need help. We should be good. We should be good. My archers should eventually form a full seal around there. I think that's my main strategy. Okay, so I do need to put more of this down, but part of me wants to go for more archers again. And yeah, we'll go for more archers first. Because those will be probably harder to set later. And then, can I put them there? Can I put them? Oh, I can put them right here. I'll make things a little bit easier. Now let's just keep going. We can rotate this way. I'm not sure if I absolutely need to rotate, but uh, I don't want to risk it. I do have 
weavers, but I don't want to use them. I'll show you what those are later when I actually get to the point where I'm actually supposed to start using them. So don't worry about that. Pretend it is not there. I cannot press V to get to weavers. That is that is a blatant lie. We need to kill these orcs, though. That is what we need to do. We got this. And then we need to head over here and help. Because they could make it. But of course my archers take care of them pretty damn easily. Archers, arrow walls. All these are working out very nicely. This isn't even the full force of my archers. And there you go, bottlenecking them up. Oh, we got no. Damn it, Ochre. Come on. Oh, shit. How do you hit me? That was out of range. Get out of there. Down he goes. Down he goes. Uh, more tar, I think. More tar will do it. There. There. No! Damn it. So. Damn it! Put it there and I'll deal with that later. Okay, heading up back up top. I don't see there are the runners. I was about to say, I don't see any runners! But there they were. Damn little kobolds. We got this. We got this though. Uh, shit. <laughs> back around here because they're about to make it. You can tell on the minimap. The minimap definitely helps with this kind of stuff. Just making sure none of those little guys make it through. Because just one of those guys get it through, and I don't get that that five skull. And yeah, they do head for that little alcove, so I will need to, to put tar in there. Oh, and we got an ogre again. Come on. Follow me. Follow me until you're dead. There we go. Is that so difficult? <laughs> oh. Hiding always helps. Pick up the coin that it looked like he dropped. They still dying. They are still dying. Here we go. Okay, let's sell that. Put another one there. Um, put an arrow wall there. Um, put. Well, I guess that is fine. And then oh, some more spikes. A treat for you. There we go. What are we on? Last, last one, last wave. And I'm doing pretty damn well. I don't want to jinx myself, but things are going pretty well right now. Just continue to take these guys all out. Get a massive kill streak. Ah, no, get over here. Get the runners. Make sure you get the runners. <laughs> they will fuck your day up just by sneaking on by. Okay, we're doing good. We got this, bunching them up once again, making sure there's a ton of tar, so my archers have plenty of time to do their to do their job, as I continue to do my job, killing them. We got this. This one, this one's in the bag. That's usually the way tower defense games go, though. Difficult to start. Well, somewhat difficult to start, you know kind of easy towards the end. It's that middle, right around that middle part where it starts to get a little difficult. Start to middle. And I can't even get that because I am too busy dancing and doing the splits. And Ah, that looks like it hurts. Should get five skulls for that. I did. Did I beat my old score? No, not even close, I don't think. Um... Oh, no, I can't get anything more. So let's just continue. And now I have unlocked the steam trap officially. So I could use that. I don't really like it. I don't see the point of it, really. it It's a stun, I guess. But it l makes him levitate. I don't know. I feel